Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a day at university. Quickly before I start, I just wanted to say that this is obviously not what I eat every single day. I literally just chose a random day to film this video and I kind of just wanted it to be a bit more realistic. Obviously some days I eat a lot healthier than this and some days I eat a lot worse than this. But I just wanted to show you three like, fairly cheap and easy meals that you can make if you're struggling to find meals. I don't know, these aren't exactly extremely extravagant. But with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video anyway and let's just get into it. Sorry that I'm filming on the phone right now, I don't have my camera with me. This morning I actually woke up a bit too late to show you what I had for breakfast, but I've got it here. So basically, last night I pre-prepared my breakfast because I'm so organised and I basically found this thing on Pinterest called frozen yogurt bark, I think, as you can see. Here's what I made earlier. And basically all you do is put, well, I mean, you can look up a recipe because I'm not 100% sure if I actually did it correctly. You know how to do all that bit again. <laughs> so basically what I did was I put yogurt on the bottom of a tree. The recipe I saw said to add some vanilla, which I did, however, it didn't really do anything. So I don't know if I need to add more or if I just went wrong there. I feel like I want a cooking show or something. You put some fruit on top. I could only find raspberries. They didn't have any strawberries in Tesco, so. That's annoying. And then you put it in the freezer. And it tastes really good and it makes like a really good like snack and you just like can cut it up. Mine's a wee bit too frozen right now. So I would say maybe look up the recipe by yourself and don't go off this video. But I feel like it's a good idea to have for breakfast. I would say because of the berries, this cost maybe about like three pounds. Because my last berries were two pounds. There's quite a lot of servings though. So I feel like this could last a couple of days. And it's also healthy, I think. So we're gonna make lunch now. We're gonna make tuna pasta I think. I know that some people might think that's kind of a heavy lunch but I'm hungry. Danny's also gonna make me a coffee. I just don't really like the taste of coffee but I like it if it's really weak. It's like a half shot latte. So I usually have one of them. In terms of how much this costs, the tuna pasta, how much do you reckon it would cost? The tuna was 95p. And pasta, you can get pasta for like 50p. That was 64p because it was on special but it was Napolina stuff. Not fancy. You can add mayonnaise also if you want to. Personally, when I make it by myself, I don't add mayonnaise because I don't like mayonnaise. But when we make it together, we add mayonnaise because Danny thinks it he's bad without it. Okay, so we're about to make dinner right now. We're just gonna make a stir fry really quickly. So we've got spring onions, broccoli, and noodles, obviously, and then a uh, sauce packet. So all together, how much do you think this costs? Yeah, the noodles were quite expensive. They were the most expensive. But the vegetables are really cheap, so is this. Um, about two pounds all in. We always like to add a lot of vegetables to these kind of things because they're really cheap and obviously really good for you. And if you buy loose vegetables, they're cheaper and they have no plastic on them. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Stuff fine. Oh, it's interrupting the video. Oh. Oh. We just finished making our dinner. I've got my tea, I've got my water, stay hydrated. And I'm gonna taste test this because I've actually never tried this before. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy, action. So this only took us like five minutes to make, so I would highly recommend it. Healthy, quick and easy, and quite cheap. So, we've done a good job. We also have a dessert. We're just having a yogurt, that's it. So nothing exciting, but again, cheap and not that unhealthy. Mm. Even though we like to chew ourselves sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed this video again. Not why I eat every single day, but I hope that this was maybe useful for some people. Don't forget to subscribe to the university channel if you haven't already. I also have my own channel which is linked down below. So if you wanted to subscribe to that as well, I would be very grateful. So yeah, I will see you in my next video.